My name's Simon Mann and I'm a designer on Total War Attila. It's a really interesting period for a start, so it's set in the Dark Ages and kind of the close of the classical era. And we picked it because it's actually a really interesting period of history and one that a lot of people probably don't know too much about. I mean, it's the Dark Ages, it's a period of kind of people forgetting all the kind of wonderful things that occurred before. And we really felt it would be great to kind of close the book on Rome too and produce a game to show kind of what happened after, after the fall of these empires that existed and the dawn of the Dark Ages. Attila the Hun is considered to be the kind of the big bad. He's the catalyst for all the events that occur in this period. So him and his hordes are the reason that all the kind of barbarian tribes have started pushing into the Roman Empire. And for the Romans, this was like the end of days. This is the apocalypse. So we're really pushing the idea of the four horsemen and things like that. So, you know, Attila is death. He has come to destroy the Christian world all on his own, basically. So he's a really huge part. And especially now that we're going to have them as a playable faction, we're really thinking that players will then be able to take on the mantle of that role of the destroyer and really kind of bring that to life in their own special way. Attila and his Huns are kind of a really major faction as I spoke about kind of during the presentation we've got the new horde mechanics that are really coming in so the Huns themselves don't have settlements or regions as most players would come to expect from previous games. They are a completely mobile faction whose entire goal is to gain their money and their wealth from raiding settlements and looting and once again, as I say, that will push the kind of other factions to move into the Roman Empire after that. So it's a really kind of big portion, but also a very different gameplay style to the other factions that you'll be able to play as. You've got the, for example, the Sassanid Empire, who'll be playable in the preview build. They're very much a kind of traditional faction, so they've got their cities and their capitals and their family trees. And they've also got lots of satrapies and client states who they kind of, they war in themselves a little bit. There's a lot of kind of diplomatic politics going on between their own factions. You've then got the Saxons, for example, you know, the traditional kind of invaders of England who stole it away from the Romans afterwards. And they've got their own very special playstyle in that they can migrate. So if they lose their last settlement, they'll be able to turn into a horde, migrate over to England, capture some settlements, and then kind of rebuild their empire from there. And then you've got the kind of very traditional Roman factions who have their cities and their grand giant empires. And rather than expanding straight away, they've got to deal with people carving chunks out of their empire and just try and hold on for as long as possible before they're then able to kind of rebuild and then push back out again afterwards. So kind of with the Warscape engine and elements such as that, we're constantly iterating and evolving. So we've made a lot of progress on, for especially for me, I think, the um, visual effects side. So if you look at things like the fire on the battlefields, it's really kind of intense and there's a lot of particle effects going off at once. And it's kind of brought a real life to the kind of settlements in a way that gives a lot of motion during battle. Um, we've also done a lot on graphic side. So we've got kind of anti-aliasing and other elements such as that, like kind of modern graphics terms that really work. I'm sure Pav, who's not here yet, would know much better than me. But um, yeah, and we've brought that and then we're continuing to evolve all the kind of campaign mechanics engine and the battle systems had a lot of overhaul on it. We've got lots of new controls, new systems coming in, things like the strategic map, which you can now use in battle and will actually allow you to move your troops and attack with them and kind of basically play the game from that view if you so choose. So battle gameplay is kind of the core of the Total War series and it's a really big element for us. but. The main battle gameplay change we've made is the balancing side of it. So we've got lots of interesting factions now, like the Hunt, who aren't really built for this kind of frontal assault fighting. They're really a kind of skirmisher race with their heavy kind of horse archers and things like that. So you've got that kind of new style and you've got to use your units in new ways. So we've got very different balancing. It's not the same rock, paper, scissors as it used to be previously. Units will now have tiers and elements and be more or less powerful and you'll level up your certain troops to become stronger and stronger as the game progresses.